In all the excitement, I did not have time to properly introduce myself and get to know you. And I would like to get to know you, yeah? But we can. Volkiln will offer you a mighty drink and tell you tales of the north, yeah? You will listen while the firelight shines on your beautiful face. You do not think you have a beautiful face? How about your eyes? Your eyes shine like Selune's tears. Never have I seen such sparkle in a woman's eyes. Your hair. Women love it when you talk about their hair, yeah? It is as soft as silk. It probably smells divine. If Volgiln could just get in a little closer. Press on, then. We march ahead to camp and ale and wine and song and victory. A beautiful day such as this almost makes me forget my longing for the cold beauty of home. The glaciers were sheets of white fire in the sun. Almost as icy and lovely as yourself. Oh, but I could pay you much better compliments if you give me the chance, lady. <laughs> Your arms are as muscular as a hill giant's. You could pick me up and swing me into the treetops without breaking a sweat. <laughs> it is my joy to drown you in compliments. Well, not drown, perhaps. Only smother a little. But tell me, is there someone else? Do you resist Volkiln because another nestles in your heart? <laughs> Volgil knows it to be true. I may be loud, I know this, yeah. But my heart is true, and I say with all honesty that your company is more intoxicating than my cups. We march on, then. Pah! Tis so dark and creepy here. I need a swig of good strong firewine to keep my blood moving. Oh, you're right. Volgil missed that opportunity. His wits are as slow as honey on a snowbank. Yeah, we do. It hardens the honey into candy. Uh, I have not had honey candy in many years. I remember the taste well, though. The taste of home. The Norse never leaves a Norseman. I remember still the chill of the wind darting under my cloak. Icicles hanging in my beard but also the majesty of those rolling, snow-covered plains, like the back of some great white beast. At night, the dancing lights came out and streaked the sky with green and pink. A fine snow, one you'd pay a toll to see in Waterdeep. <laughs> Volkiln is not just a scald in name, but one indeed. Before we go on, I may not have firevine, but I do have this skin of mead, Shall we toast to continued good fortune and camaraderie? To our team, then. To you and I. I drink to you and my admiration for you overwhelms. May I kiss your hand? I swoon with happiness. You see the value in our partnership, yeah? May I be so bold as to kiss your wrist? Long have I dreamed of this moment. Now I come closer. Now I kiss. Shara smiles upon me. You have left me dizzy. Oh, is it mead? Is a way. We must press on. Time runs out on us. The enemy of all mortals, yeah? We near the end of our tale. Ho oh, ho, you speak the truth. Kela's crusaders will be no match for us, yeah? Onwards then. But first, perhaps, tis an old northern superstition that a kiss before battle from a beautiful woman ensures victory. One kiss is enough to take the mighty Volghilln's breath away. And still time slips away. Though we must hurry, I would still ask for one more moment of your time. Something weighs on Volghilln's mind. Uh, Volkiln the Mighty does not often have to have this conversation. A woman does not usually return my affection, let alone two. There was wine, though, and a moment of weakness, and she was so very beautiful by the firelight and the siege camp. 
It was only that one night. And perhaps another, but, but there was much wine, so Vulcan has trouble remembering. The fun is hard to resist when one's head is clouded. Ooh, but do not be upset. Vulcan has something good to say. Shame? Yeah, I am ashamed. But I have thought much on this, and I must make a choice, yeah? And I know now that you are the lady of my heart. You are much less demanding than Safana. And your kisses leave Volkin weak in the knees, while Safana's leave my jaw sore. I have burned all my bridges, yeah? I understand. But I apologize. Truly, I do. Volkin never meant harm to you. Really? Oh, happy day. Volkild has a chance, a slim chance, but a chance nonetheless. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Here we stand at the gate to hell. All nine of them. For all my failings, I never dreamed I would end up here. Ho oh, oh, ho, you speak with wisdom. Together, we will carry on, yeah? I have been thinking much since our last conversation. It is an activity Volkiln is unused to doing at such great lengths. I want to tell you how many thanks I give you for your kind words. That is how it is, yeah? I meant no harm. For all Volkiln's bluster, he is not always so fortunate with the woman's. It is easy for a pretty lady to turn his head. There was a woman once that Volkiln could have loved. A skull's heart is not easily won. But she could have, had she not been lost in battle. Yeah. Time rushes on like a river, and we cannot move against the current. I am glad I washed up on your shores, fair one. You are much like me. You cannot always show who you truly are. There is too much danger and too many eyes on you for that. But a skull's eyes see the soul, and yours is strong. Come, a kiss for luck before we venture into this fiendish portal. Ho ho, let us march forward now, to hell and back. So we have faced many hard times together. This may be the hardest, yeah? I am sad, my friend. I have always been ready with a joke or a song to lift the spirits, but now... Volkiln the Mighty is empty. I must know. The evidence seems so obvious, but... Did you murder Ski? Your words lift a weight off Volkiln's heart. I did not wish to believe it of you. Alas, I am only a scald, a mighty scald to be sure, but all mine honeyed words cannot turn the ear of Duke Silvershield. Worse, mine efforts to free you have cast suspicion on Volkiln himself. There are whispers that I may have aided you, that our closeness has blinded me to your true nature. I must leave. I cannot help you if I too am imprisoned. But never doubt, lady that you will remain in my thoughts forever. <laughs>